All right, so today I'm going to show you how to upload your own uh, podcast or vidcast up to archive.org. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go to archive.org. Very simple, just go to www.archive.org. Now, as you can see here, I'm already logged in, but uh, if you don't already have an account, you can always just go ahead and register one, uh, just like you would uh, with any kind of website. So nothing too crazy there. It's kind of the same as any other website. So what you're going to do is, um, well, I'm going to start uploading the Pagan Men's Podcast. So we don't have anything for the Pagan Men's Podcast on Archive yet. So I'm just going to click on this Upload button on the upper hand, right? And uh, and it's asking me to log in. So logging in is always a good thing. And uh, let me just make sure I remember my login. <laughs> I think that's it. All right. So I'm logged in, and now we can uh, just go ahead and click the share button. This is the easiest way to uh, to upload stuff. Now, if you click on this share button, it's just going to be like, nope, wrong button. So you want to click on the one up here on the upper right-hand side. So I'm going to click that share button. First thing it's going to do is ask me for a file. Um, fun part is remembering where you put the file on your computer. So I put it in my Dropbox, pick men. And I'm going to upload. You can upload multiple files at once by holding down the control key on Windows or the command key on Mac. So I'm going to upload the first two episodes of Pagan Man here. So it's going to click open. And this will start the upload process. As you can see, you can see each file uploading here. Uh, so that when you create uh, an entry on archive.org, uh, I'm just going to. It'll ask you for some things. And here's where you can put some uh, stuff about the show. So title is Pagan Men. And usually the, the unique identifiers are free. And uh, description is um, a show about men who identify in uh, men. All right, keywords. Uh, I haven't found any importance to keywords here on archive.org. It's not like YouTube where I show up like related files and stuff based on your keywords. But uh, it is required. So pagan, comma, men's, comma, gender. And let me just uh, put in a few other things. Uh, male, sex. Uh, yeah, good enough, long enough. Author of the work. It could be, uh, it could be anything, so... Um, we can leave that out. Now, anything you upload to archive.org cannot be released under traditional copyright. You must release it into the Creative Commons or public domain. Um, public domain means you give up all rights to this, whereas uh, Creative Commons lets you keep some rights. And here, if you choose on uh, choose license, it actually walks you through the process of selecting a Creative Commons license, and it gives you links to all kinds of other things. So we don't want to allow commercial uses of the work unless they contact us. And, yeah, we're okay with people uh, using our work as long as, uh, you know, it's like another podcast or something under the same license. And uh, technically, we're not sure what country we're in because it's hosted by Canadians and Americans. So we're just going to put international there. Click select a license and click proceed. And that's going to update the page here. And as you can see here, we're going to finish waiting for this to upload. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to just let uh, the miracle of video post-production take care of this. Okay, by miracle of post-production, the downloads are now complete. So all we're going to do is scroll down the page to the bottom. Click on share my files. And wait for archive. This can take about a minute or two. So let's just sit here uh, and watch it do its thing. During the process, it will create a page for you on archive.org. Um, cool thing about archive.org is if you upload like uh, just MP3s, uh, as you can see, well, it gives me a page here. Let's look at that. Just load some MP3s. It actually gives you a media player that you can embed on your own website. Um, and by default, they'll have the files that you uploaded. Now, if you upload video, it'll actually uh, take your original files, and over the course of like a week or two, 
also make available a lower resolution version of your files for the bandwidth impaired. And the cool thing is, is that you can come back and edit this at any time by clicking on edit this item. And when you click here, you can change information like the name, the, the keywords, and so forth. Or you can click on change my files to add more files. So if you are, uh, you're already using archive.org and say you want to add an additional episode, you just click change to files and it brings you right back to that upload screen where you can add even more files or you can even delete existing files. Um, so it's, it's really easy to use. Archive.org is really uh, not as difficult as it once was. So I'm not going to upload anything here, so I'm just going to click cancel. And I believe I just clicked the back button a couple of times. It'll get me back to where I was. All right. And that's all there really is to uploading to archive.org. Just make sure you have the right login information and you're ready to go. And here you can play the play and you can hear the music in the background. All right. So that's all you need to know about how to get your podcast. And welcome to the first episode of Pagan. Good night, everyone.